Duncan? I'm Jim. Jim Milton. Hey. Need a hand with that horse? No. Whoa. <laughs> you sure about that? Okay, yes. Yes, I do. Pretty big one. <laughs> That's Jeremiah. Okay, Jeremiah. There, boy. You done? Come on. Whoa, none of that. Come on. Easy, boy. Oh, someone put some onions on their oats, didn't they, boy? <sighs> Calm down. <sighs> he likes you. I ain't sure he likes any of us, but I'll make him respect me and behave. Can't you teach me how to make him behave same way as he does for you? I'm supposed to go help your mother. She's got a horse in full. <sighs> That'll take hours. Well, training a horse can take hours. Just give me a quick lesson, sir. Please. Okay. Let me ride him a bit first. Get some of the spunk out of him. I'll be in the corral, Ben. You're all right, ain't you? Here we go. No trouble now. All right, he's ready for you. Okay. Get on up there and go nice and slow. Stay calm. Me? The horse. You're calm. The heart's beating a little. Keep your voice calm and your legs strong. Don't let old Jeremiah sense fear. I won't. Doing fine. Real nice. Not that I'm saying you need one, but you sure there isn't another horse for you to ride around here? I had a pony, but I'm too grown for him now. Yeah? You think my son could borrow him? Huh? <laughs> Lancelot? Yeah. Sure. I'll get it hitched by your cabin there. All right. Thank you, son. Can I ask? Are we in trouble from all these Laramie boys? They say Mr. Abel's real rich, way richer than Pa, and he's got all these hired guns out of Laramie, and if Pa doesn't sell, well, they'll come here and they'll... Hey, easy there. You don't have to worry about all that. You just worry about Jeremiah there. Yeah, but... But... Just worry about the horse, yeah? Yes, sir. I think you two might be ready to go out without a chaperone. Oh, I'm not sure about that. You're good. Nice and easy now. Both of you. You Mr. Milton? I thought you were gonna help me. I am. I was. I'm sorry. Come on. I need a man's help. Duncan, what have I told you about distracting the hands? I'm sorry, Ma. <sighs> well, I hope you'll listen to me better than my husband. Thanks, Jim. You're doing fine, kid. Give him a carrot when you put him down. This is the stall. <laughs> so, you know much about birthing a foal, Milton? 
Not too much. My God, where does my husband find men like you? Bill, we all know where he goes in town, and it ain't hunting for hands. It's not too hard. You just uh, stick a hand in there and get a feeling for where the legs are. Go on. Whatever you say, ma'am. Okay, now hold on. You'll know them when you got them. And pull. Hold. There. There. Okay, well, I think she's... Well, we're not out of the woods, but I think she may be okay. Great. We'll make a proper hand of you yet, Mr. Milton. I hope so. Thank you. Oh, and Mr. Milton, feel free to make a call at the house sometime. Perhaps even now. A drink to toast our new arrival. <laughs> I'd like that, but my wife is expecting me back. Oh, you're married? I didn't know we had any married hands. Yeah, we, we have a boy. Maybe you've seen him around? Oh, uh, I'm, I'm busy. Uh, t too busy for social calls. Of course. Good day, Mr. Milton. Hey, John. Jim. <sighs> Sorry. So, this is what you wanted. Fake names, which, by the way, Dickens sees clean through. John. Us on the run. John, this is our chance to make something new. Come on. Please. For me. For him. How's he been? And kind of withdrawn. Quiet. You know. Sure. Take him out, please. Come on, boy. Let's go for a walk. Come on. Round to the left. What do you see? Pony? Get on him. We're taking a ride. Duncan, Mr. Getty's boy lent it to you. Let's go. How you doing? Fine. Can we go home? No. You're... Stay calm. Where would you like to go riding, aside from home? I don't know. But maybe that stream... Good idea. And you know all this. Get him going. Come on. You know. The horse can feel your fear. Just act confident, okay? Uh-huh. Confident. Yep. Don't pull on the reins. You'll yank his bit out. Use your legs. There you are. Now let's go. Jack, a little kick and a... Speed up a mic. Okay.
Even faster, come on. Faster? and a little confidence can do. Okay. Let's go across to the street. Yes, sir. you get back you think you're ready for a little race i guess all right we go back to the path and up to the ridge okay on my go go I beat you! I beat you! I Well beat ridden, son. <sighs> I beat you. Like I said, your riding has gotten so much better. Thanks. Hey, keep practicing your riding. You too. You need it. your mouth boy you will be the first one we kill leave him alone <laughs> oh careful boys careful yeah. look at this tough guy get out of here how oh, fancy parents get he's paying you to be tough for him huh <laughs> <laughs> no he's paying me to keep the place clean oh. said he had some problems with vermin oh listen to this Real funny. <laughs> no! Oh, oh, come on, get him! I'll kick his head in, bro. I couldn't stop him, Jim. <laughs> oh, they didn't hire you because you're tough. It's because you're stupid. Oh, he's licking you, boss. Get off! He hit me first. Oh, you can fight, boy. I'll give you that. Well, how's your wife in a brawl? Leave my wife alone. Oh, she's real pretty. Get out of here. Oh, quite a temper you got. 
<laughs> Imagine you're you're frustrated with your lot in life, married to a shit shoveling farmhand. <laughs> What'd you do wrong to end up here? Leave my wife alone. Welcome to Big Valley, Jim Milton. Pleasure to meet you both. We'll see you again. And you, boy, tell Mr. Geddes we called. We'll be back. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Milton. Thank you. Don't worry about it. Stop acting like a goddamn storybook hero, will ya? What choice did I have? Plenty, you moron. Plenty. We all get caught eventually, John. I guess the trick is to decide by who. Now, dear, I, I won't hear any more of it. You won't hear any of it. Not in front of the men. You toad. All right, smile, smile. Do not embarrass me. Mr. Milton, I should like to have a word with you. Milton? Mr. Geddes? Hey, I heard we had another incident with the uh, Laramie boys. Yeah, there was an incident. Well, I mean to scare me. Are you scared? A little. I've got a lot invested in this place, and, and not just the land, but, but my family. It's, uh, it's hard to explain. I understand. I'll do my best to keep you safe, sir. Yeah, I know you will. So how's your family? Uh, just fine. I should probably head back. <laughs> yeah, I know how it is. <laughs> How'd you get on? Okay, I guess. Better? Sure, I'm just tired. I know. Anybody want some more? Uh, no, no, I'm thank good. You. I'm it's Mr. Pearson. John Marston. You're such a pig. <laughs> 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 All right, it's getting late. Let's get some rest. Good night, Jack. Good night, Mama. Good night, Jack. Good night, Pa. What the hell was that? What are, you, what are you doing? My job, Abigail. Lock this door behind me. Don't open it unless you know it's me. Jim! They got Dickens! Over by the stables! It's over. It's rich man's folly. You... Who's this? New hand. Tough guy they just took on. And yeah, I heard about you. Jim? That all? He's out. They've killed Mr. Tobert, and they've stolen my goddamn cattle. You men okay? I think so. Yeah. Jim Milton saved my life. It's Mr. Abel. Yeah, of course, it's Mr. Abel. I can't believe he thinks it can scare me out of here. Then I guess we're getting your cattle back, I guess sir. we are. Can you go too, Tom? Of course, sir. All right, Jim. I know you can handle yourself. A little. Go get your guns and head out. Guns? Oh, don't play coy with me, son. We need your help. I don't care what you used to do or what your, your, your name is. This is the land of second chances. Understood. Okay. Come in. It's me. What was it? Mr. Getty's cattle was taken. I'm sorry to hear that. What are you doing in that thing? Mr. Getty's been real good to us. We... 
Hi. What are you doing? My job, Abigail. My goddamn job. I'll lead the way. This is gonna be the last we hear out of them. Yeah, yeah, right! better on foot. Okay, if you say so. That's the place up ahead. There's our cows. A couple guards out front. A couple more around the side, I imagine. Let's get a closer look. Let's go. Yeah, there's plenty of guards. I'm gonna head straight in. Yep, Tom. You head up there and try and give us some cover. Abe, you're gonna try and flank the place and come in from the back. I'll give you a minute or two, then I'm heading in. Yes, sir. Okay. I got this. You boys take the cattle. See you back there, son. You ain't so talky now, are you? Piss taking, piss shoveling, backwoods, sack of no good trash.
that woman of yours got the look of a woman ain't had a real ride in her life. She's got to make do with some piss poor stinking farmhand. Hey, hey, tell her I'll let her in my sheets. As long as she begs for. <laughs> Let's go, girl. You're back. You did real well, Mr. Milton. This man can really fight. Save the whole place. Ah, uh, that weren't nothing. Well, you, oh, you, <laughs> you saved my life. No need to say nothing, sir. Just doing my job. Now, I don't think they'll be back tonight, but how about Abe? Just in case you stay up. Yep. You see anything or hear anything, you fire that rifle. Three times. Three times. We'll all come running. Will do. Uh, well said. And thank you, Mr. Milton. Truly. Just glad to be of service, sir. <laughs> I understand. You get some rest. Thank you, Mr. Geddes. What? What?
What choice did I have? Just answer me that. What was I supposed to do? Just do one thing or another. Not be two people at once. That's all I'm saying. Getting on. Surviving. I think. Here. I'll get you some coffee. Only thing I know how to do is. Well, you know. Undertakers like me. Cattle? Not so much. That ain't true. I ain't no rancher. Rustled horses, not raised them. Stole cattle, not birthed them. I was. I was reading the newspaper. I was reading about a old ranch, Beecher's Hope, down by Blackwater. Was you? Well, Jack read it to me, but I thought maybe we could raise some money. Bank could lend us the rest. We could be happy, John. We Bank could... loans? I got a goddamn price on my head, woman. I know. I know all about that. Every time we about to get somewhere, make something, you go and show the entire world that you ain't Jimmy Milton. Every place we've been, it's been the same. We start doing okay, and then boom. You act like the big man with the gun. I'm tired, John, and I guess I was dreaming a little. At least give me that. Just feels hopeless. Mm. You're doing better. Milton. Milton, ma'am. Mr. Geddes needs you to head over to Strawberry in the wagon and collect some mail for him at the post office. Sure. I'll take the boy with me. He's getting soft. Lancelot. Come on. Jim, if you're heading that way, can you pick up a parcel for me? A dress I ordered. I think it's in your name. My name. I think so. One's in your name, and the other's in mine. O only one should have come in by now. How much shopping you done? Oh, yes. A real keen purchaser of goods, me. Look at me. <laughs> Okay, Lancelot. We'll make a man out of you yet. Not too much of a man, mine. He's only a boy. Just gonna show him how to drive the wagon a little. We'll save the real exciting realities of adulthood for another day. Come on. Get! You take care now. Of course. It's nice getting out of the house, huh? It's real bumpy here. I like being in the house, Pa. Life ain't just about doing things you like, boy. What happened the other night with those men? Did you kill them? I did what I had to do to protect you. Ma said it was pride or something. Can we go a little slower? Ma was wrong about that. Here, want to take the reins a little? I, I don't know, Pa. I it's easy, boy. Don't be scared. Well, uh, w what do I do? Well, just hold them and pull them short to slow down. Tell them to go faster. Give them a little switch. And then hold them one side if you want to turn. Here, try it out.
back in strawberry, eh, kid? Looks like. You know, I think this is the longest I've seen you without a book in your hand. It was foolish to forget mine, sir. Look, I got some business to attend to with the clerk. I leave you with the wagon. Can I trust you not to drive off with it? Oh, I think I can be trusted to that. Very good. Son. Sure. Well, cheer up a little. You wait here. I won't be long. Okay. And if you behave, I might let you drive us home. Can't wait. Hi. I'm here to name. M my name? Uh, Jim Milton. Jim Milton. Hmm. <laughs> nope. Nothing here. Uh, maybe try Marston. John Marston. It's a long story. Okay. John Marston. Marston. Nope. Nothing here for that name either. Try Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Abigail Roberts. Yes, here we are. And also, I'm here to pick up the deliveries for Pronghorn Ranch. David Getty sent me. Pronghorn? Yes, er, uh, oh, er, uh, sign here. We have a bunch of stuff for you. <sighs> and I will help you out. <clears throat> I'll take these. You get the rest of the stuff. Here. Let me help you with this, Mr. Marston. Ah, uh, it's, uh, mostly Milton these days. It's a long story. Whatever you say, Mr. Milton. It's not important. Take care now. Give my regards to Gettys. Thank you very much, mister. Okay. Let's get out of here. Everything okay, Pa? Sure. I hope so, at least. Here. You take the reins a little. I ain't sure. Come on, son. You'll enjoy it if you try a little harder. Okay. Okay, Pa. Pa! We're going back to Pronghorn, okay? So, wait. We've come all the way out here, and we're just gonna turn around and go back? That's what we're doing. Turns out, uh, I miss the seclusion of the ranch more than I figured for. Don't you want to go to the store, or the saloon, or anywhere? We're going back. Okay, boy? But... I've been sitting in this wagon I don't know how long. But nothing. Keep on driving, and watch the road. Yes, sir. Thank you. Jesus. Mind your father, okay? I got my reasons, even if I don't care to explain them. Yes, sir. Better. Look, if I tell you to speed up, speed up. If I say slow down, you slow down, okay? Uh, sure. Speed up. Let's get away from there. Okay. Pia! Who's this? Sorry, sir. Was that a question for me? No. No, keep driving.
driving across here. It's the same as any other road. Look where you want to go, and the horse will follow. Okay. I think the horse is getting skittish. We'll be all right. Don't look around. Oh, Pop, hey. those men, are they following us? Just stay calm. See that fallen tree? When we get there, stop the wagon, jump down, and hide. Oh, Pa. You need to do exactly as I say, boy. Here, now! Uh, come on, quick, now! Okay, son, you wait here. You don't move or say nothing until I speak to you. You hear? Yes, sir. Head down. Okay, gentlemen. Let's see what you come calling about. What do you boys want with us? Oh, we just want to have a friendly chat. Are you John Morrison? You sure look like him. It's okay. You're okay. What? Why? What? It's okay. It's okay. Come on. Keep them eyes closed. Let's go. Come on. Get up. Oh dear, those men. I told you not to look, boy. Are they dead? I didn't have much of a choice. You saw that. Yourself. You killed them, Pa! Son, I need you to hold it together. This is fast! You were real brave back there. Real brave. Did exactly like I said. Really? Uh-huh. If you hadn't listened, things could have gone real wrong for us. Sure, but yeah, that kind of life might suit us. Wouldn't be such a chore if the horses we were cleaning up after was ours, would it? <laughs> no, it wouldn't. Mm. Okay, here we are. That was an uh, eventful trip. Go say hi to your mother. Yeah, it's... I don't... We got shot at. Shot at? What happened? Well, we got followed, and then... We... Followed by who? Probably someone who knew me. If we didn't get to them particulars, I'm sorry. My son. Our son! I... We 
It's your dress that caused all the problem. It weren't even a dress. It was a gift for you. Hey, Mr. Jim? Mr. Jim? Hey. Uh, there's a telegram messenger for you over there in, near the house. There is? Okay. Thanks, Abe. What do you think he wants? I have no idea. But I doubt someone wants to give me a big pile of money. That's him. I see him. Thanks, Abe. Excuse me, mister. I'm Jim Milton. Heard you had a telegram for me? Yes, here. Sign there. Thank you. Huh? Jim, stop. If you're the JM I know, stop. It's Sadie Adler. I've got something to discuss. Pay good. Meet me in saloon in Valentine. I'm there most days. Stop. Sadie Adler. I'll be damned. Abigail. Darling John, a kind lady in the village helped me write this. She had men problems of her own, but that's a different story. Listen, I have begged you, but it don't seem to make much difference. I've tried everything I know to make you grow up. And you know I love you, but loving you means I can't watch you do this. Time after time, we've had to run because of your behavior and your decisions. We got a son. I got a son, and I love our son enough that I can't have him around while you're like this. I had so many dreams, John. I hoped you would change. We all saw what happened to them that didn't, but you... Part of you is hell-bent on ending up the same way. And I love you too much to watch that no more. Abigail. Where's the wife, Milton? Uh, she's out. I saw her leaving with the boy and the bags. What's going on? You married Mr. Dickens? No. That don't surprise me. What'd she do? Catch you with a showgirl? Or hear about you shooting more fellas over by Strawberry? Just who are you, Jim Milton? I'm a family man. I can handle a gun, sure. Them men shot at me. Just interested, that's all. Ain't nothing interesting. Unless you find gossip about a man's marriage worthy of your time. Guess not. There's work to be done. Unless you're running off too. I ain't going nowhere. I'm here to work. Gotta save money, get her what she wants. What does she want? She wants a place of her own. Said she found a plot up at Beecher's Hope. You? A rancher? You'll starve. Probably. <laughs> Keep yourself busy. Take your mind off it.
That's her fool. Hey, you know, I was wrong about you. you turned into a fine worker, Jim Milton. Oh, thank you. Means a lot. Hey, you think I could speak with Mr. Geddes? See if maybe he's open to offering me some guidance? No, I'm sure he'd be happy to hear you speak, at least. Thank you, Mr. Dickens. Hey, son. How's that bull? Fine, Mr. Milton. Your father in? Can I have a word? Sure. I'll just get him. Pa! Hey, I'm right, right here. <sighs> What's the problem, Milton? I'm sorry for the disturbance, sir. Oh, no problem. My wife, she just began her morning discourse on the subject of my faults. An experience I think every man can relate to. In some ways, my wife. My wife also has issues with some of the decisions I've made. Real issues. Hmm? Do you believe a man can change, sir? Where is this heading? I guess I don't know. <clears throat> I've tried to be a good hand. I've worked hard to secure your property. And for that, we are grateful. And you've paid me well, besides. The thing is, I suppose, I need to get a place of my own so I can prove to my wife that I've changed. I understand. But I ain't got much money. I ain't asking to borrow none. But maybe you could go to the bank and put in a good word so they could give me a loan. A loan, huh? So I can buy that place, Beecher's Hope? Yes, I know it. Yes, of course, sure. It'd be, it'd be my pleasure. But take my advice, Milton. Take your money and go buy passage on a boat. Go to Brazil and forget all about family. I'm just joking, son. Just make sure you deal with Ansel Atherton at the bank. He's a distant cousin. Use my name. Tell him to ask me direct himself. You'll get what you need. Thank you, sir. Yeah, I was young and dumb once, too. Get her back.
Morning, son. I thought I told you to leave it, Bubba. And I thought to myself, who this little girl thinks she's telling anything to? Uh, enjoy your drink in peace. <laughs> I ain't got no business with you right now. What that mean? For the last time, leave me alone. Or what? Ah! Oh, what was that? Oh! Get the hell out of here before she kills us all! You! You! Get out of here! John Marston! It's good to see you. <laughs> I thought I heard a rumor you was alive. Jim Milton, that you? Guess I didn't do a real good job of hiding my identity. <laughs> we didn't hear nothing about you. You... you killed a feller up by Roanoke? Sure did. I thought that sounded like you and Abigail and Jack. She... She's fine. <laughs> she was always so kind to me. I'm looking to buy us a property. Beecher's Hope, west of Blackwater. I'm kind of a farmer now. <laughs> and you? Oh, you know how it is. Bounties mostly and some other stuff. Good and bad. Are you any interest in bounties? No, uh, I've gone straight. <laughs> sort of. Come on, we got a bit of a ride. I know. Your telegram. You said you had something to discuss. I didn't think we'd be chasing down an outlaw. There's something else. What? Micah. Micah? I think so. I heard of someone sounded like him uh, about a year back. Okay. We always said if we found him. I know what we said we'd do. That ain't changed. I didn't think I'd see any of you again after you left for the Yukon. Now we came back. Didn't strike the bridge, as you can see. What are you waiting for? <laughs> Easy there, girl. Anyway, you carry on. country's becoming real civilized. Bad folk won't be around for long.
Hey there, friend. How can I help? All right. See what you can find. Like I said, feller's name is Nathan Kirk. Banker. Bald. 45. Okay. You head up that way. I'll meet you in a bit. You seen a, you seen a bald New Yorker, name of Nathan Kirk, about 45? No, sir. If we get plenty of New Yorkers here. It's resort town, you see. The Adirondacks of the West, the mayor calls it. But <laughs> I can't remember any of the bastards. Okay. Ask in the general store or the post office. They tend to know who's in residence for the season, as we say. Season. Good lord. You, uh, you seen a fella? Fella from New York? Bald guy? Yeah. A few New Yorkers come here in search of the West. This one's a wanted man. I work for the government. Uh, sort of. His name's Nathan Kirk. Mr. Kirk? But he's so charming. Is he staying here? He's, uh, up in room three. I'm gonna go pay him a visit. It's government business. How exciting. Room three's just up there. This is quite an occurrence. Mr. Kirk! Mr. Kirk, you in there? Who is it? It's just... Well, stop! Hey! That's Nathan Kirk! Go! Oh, got him? Oh, shut up! Come on, jump on! We gotta get after him! Remember, we want him alive, though! I know!
right there. Don't squirm now. He's loose again. See what you got in here. Thanks for that, Mr. Kirk. Real fun. I, I'm an innocent man, but it's all a mistake. My wife, my wife is a, is a desperate woman. Are, are you married, sir? None of your business what I am. She made me do it. She broke me. I did bad, but I'm not bad. There is a difference. You've got... You've got no right to do this! This is persecution! Listen and don't prove it otherwise! Where shall I send the money? I ain't been paid yet. Hold on to it for me. Need to speak to the bank over in Blackwater. Get a loan for the property. Might make them happy to see I've got a boss. No, I've got a couple of other leads I could use your help with if you're interested. I'm usually at the saloon in Blackwater. I need money pretty bad, so... Come on, lady. girl.
With you all. Mind if I check your pockets? Okay, Missy. Excuse me, sir. Can I can I help you? Hey, hello there. Yeah, I'm looking for Mr. Atherton. I'm a friend of Mr. Getty's over at Pronghorn Ranch. Oh, <laughs> yeah. Mr. Atherton is in his office. Hey, please head in. Thank you. Yeah. Can I help you? I hope so. <clears throat> I want a loan, sir. A line of credit, so I can buy some property. What property? An old ranch? Beecher's Hope? <laughs> that old dump? I, I know it ain't much, but I ain't much of a farmer either. But I will get there. That is a very unusual way of asking for a loan. Mr. M Marston. Marston. Only folk around here call me Milton. It's kind of a joke, I guess. <laughs> a joke, huh? And which folk? Mr. Geddes. Uh -huh. I work for him. He said that you could help me out. If you can. So old David Geddes told you I'm the kind of man to loan a man with two names money so he can buy a run-down farm on account of his lack of farming skills, huh? <laughs> Don't sound too promising when you put it like that. <laughs> well, how would you put it? Sorry to waste your time, sir. Oh, sit down. I'm sure we can figure something out. Now, of course, we'll be expecting you to make regular payments, and given a lack of much evidence you got any means of repaying, the terms won't be too great. But if my cousin vouches for you, it'll be okay with the bank. Really? <laughs> Absolutely. Thank you. Now, of course, we'll be expecting our money back regular as clockwork until the debt's settled. Otherwise, the farm reverts to the bank, no matter how much you paid. I understand. Well, why don't you go check out the land while I fix the contracts and talk to Mr. Geddes. Oh, I heard there's squatters up there. We've been having so many problems recently, they'll need clearing on. Sure. Well, come back when you're done and we'll fix up the paperwork.
I help you, friend? I hope so. Who's in charge here? No one, mister. This is a free country. <laughs> now that I ain't so sure about. Listen, I'm buying this land. I'm afraid... I'm afraid you guys are gonna have to go somewhere else. <coughs> Who's this? I ain't sure. Some fancy dang city boy says he owns this land. Or he's gonna. Owns it? That's what he says. Okay. And how come we live in here? I ain't sure. Ah, it's you, the man with two names and no past. Come on in. How'd you make out? Well, let's just say there are no more squatters. Okay. Well, I got your paperwork ready. Now, you sure about buying this place? It's really run down, and the price isn't too great. I think it would mean a lot for my wife. At least mean I was listening to her. Okay. Well, sign here and here. Now we own you, Mr. Marston, and we own Mr. Milton, too, and we own your property. But you can buy your freedom each week. Eventually, you will be a homeowner. I understand. Congratulations. You are now a real American, indebted and owned by the bank. <laughs> I'm joking. They own me. But they just own your property. Now, you can also use this line of credit for any home improvements you need to make, of course. I can? Sure. Be good, Mr. Marston. Welcome to home ownership. It's a beautiful thing. Let your wife know what to complain about. <laughs> Just joking. Well, it is you. Well, I never. I I thought you was dead, boy. Dead. Uncle. The very same. Come here. <laughs> I saw you going into the bank, and by the looks of things, you ain't robbed it. I've gone straight. Oh, bull crap. No, for real. <laughs> well, I'm trying. All these years, you ain't changed a bit. Maybe a little bit. I thought you was dead. <laughs> not yet. Well, I got some things to take care no, of. Oh, not a problem. I'll come too. No, you don't have to. Oh, no, I'm real sick, John. Lumbago. It's a... Uh, Slow and painful death, my brother. Evidently. Oh, have a little pity, will you? Huh? Come on, then. All right. <laughs> So back to 
what I was talking about. West. Oh, ain't you a man of few words? I can see we're headed west. You know, speaking in monosyllables don't make you seem interesting. It makes you seem stupid. I don't care how I seem. Well, now where west are we headed, you damn grunting fool? This ranch, I... A ranch I bought just now. Is that what you were doing in the bank? Not that it's any of your concern. I was in the bank borrowing the money. Well, that's even worse. You can run from a bounty, John. You can't run from a bank. Is Abigail there? No! She's, uh... Her and Jack are waiting until I'm set up before joining me out here. <laughs> you mean she left you? Oh, I never thought she was a smart woman, but... You know, this makes me think... Maybe I was wrong. <laughs> no more of that. I just bought this place. Okay. What do you think? Why exactly did you buy this dump? For Abigail? Why? Is she an idiot? No. What were you thinking? I don't know. She said she wanted it. She ever seen it? What are we going to farm here? <laughs> Rocks? We? You don't have a hope here without a wise hand at the tiller. Enough of that. Get out of here. On your way. No. You're stuck with me. Seems I'm stuck with you. John, the rock farmer. <laughs> so, you think I'm an idiot? No. I know you're an idiot. Working hard? <clears throat> it's the lumbago. Now, if I overdo it, I I'll get a relapse. It's very serious. Get up or get out. Oh, you can be so testy. What is it? Constipation? Guess you're my proof I'll never quite outrun my sins. You got so sanctimonious in your old age. No wonder she left you. It's like rooming with the King James Bible. <laughs> get up! Ow! I I I'm getting up. Oh, no, wait, what did I have to tell you? I, I went into town, and I, oh, I got, I got a little drunk. Uh, oh, shit! Well, we gotta go. We gotta go to San Denis. Charles! Charles Smith is alive, I reckon. Charles Smith alive? Really? I, I reckon. This, I dreamed it all, and by the sound of it, not doing too good, neither. Here we are. 
come on. Let's get off. All right. <sighs> Back in San Denis. I never liked this place. Oh, yeah. Oh, me neither. All right. Let's go find that big sour bastard. Sure. <sighs> Let's split up. Good idea. I'll take the saloons, you take the slums. Now, how about I take the saloons, and you take the slums? Good morning, you hear? <laughs> 